Throughout history, magic has been seen as something supernatural, something hocus pocus, something woo woo, something even dangerous and sinister and evil. But what is magic really? And does it have to be supernatural? What is supernatural? And what is magic and the potential of magic? These are the questions that um, I hope to be answering in this video. So if you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. If you want to become a Wiccan or you're interested in Wicca, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. I like to take things that seem to be a bit over the top, like this whole attitude that we have to magic, turn that around into something that is actually more mundane and something that is more general, because we need to get over this belief that magic is something supernatural. It stops us from being able to create through magic and it scares people away from working with magic because there's been all of these lies associated with magic that it's somehow something sinister, that it's dark and that if you start playing with magic you're going to end up tapping into these dark forces and it's all very supernatural when it isn't supernatural because what the hell is supernatural anyway? If all life, including spirit and what we see as being more dense matter like ourselves, if everything is vibration, if everything is consciousness and vibration, we're not tangible objects, we're vibrating, we're changing all of the time, then what is supernatural anyway? I feel that everything is natural. So magic as being this ability for us to be able to influence change according to our will, according to our desires, according to our intentions, using our thoughts, using our emotions and connecting to the energy of the universe and having the universe reflect back to us what it is that we're putting out like a mirror or a feedback loop is natural. It just seems natural. We've been doing it ever since humanity started way back in the stone age we've been practicing magic. So it's nothing new and it's a part of everyday life. Indigenous cultures, magic was a part of everyday life. It's just part of life. It's not supernatural. We in the West have grown up on a diet of magic being seen as supernatural in the movies and in fairy tales. You have a wand, you wave it, stuff happens. You say some words uh, and stuff happens. People have special powers that no one else has uh, and stuff happens when they use them. We subconsciously have been programmed to believe that magic is miraculous, that magic is outside of the norm and that only some people have the ability. And some people even profess that they're the only people who have the ability or that they're somehow special because they can do spells and things. When that's not the case, when we all have the ability to be able to tap into this co-creation energy and create things and, and influence change around us, whether that's the change in regards to situations, change in regards to ourselves, change in regards to, to people, to organizations. If we can get our mindset away from magic being hocus pocus and supernatural and just understand that it's a part of life and we can integrate it into our daily life, if we've got goals that we want to achieve, that magic just becomes a normal part of achieving those goals, that we incorporate our magic with our physical action that we take in the real world and that they're not separate things, then I think we'll be a lot more balanced as people and we can get away with this nonsense that's out there that magic is somehow dangerous, that magic is somehow a bad thing or that magic is something that only a few people know how to do. We need to understand it's, it's natural that we use it even when we're not consciously aware that we're using it. If anybody is familiar with law of attraction, and I think most people out there are, you'll understand that they talk about law of attraction as it being something we're always engaged in doing, we're just not doing it consciously. Magic and law of attraction being the same thing means that we're engaging in magic all of the time anyway through our thoughts and our feelings. So why not do it consciously and understand that there's nothing evil about it, there is nothing either good about it, it's just a way of, of bringing things into creation, the same as any other so-called mundane activity is a way of bringing something into creation. We need now than ever 
to wake up to the fact that we can influence what goes on around us and particularly what goes on, on inside of us and that how we perceive the world is how we receive the world. So when we see the world in a certain way, we're magically creating that world and that world then is reflected back to us. If we understand that we all have this magical ability to be able to change our perception of the world first, which is part of spell crafting, that's what we do when we're doing a spell is we create in our minds what we're wanting to create. If we change our perception, then we will be able to create a much better world. And I think at this time more than ever, this is a really good opportunity for us to create works of magic consciously to make this world a better place and to take these changing times into somewhere that is much more positive, much less supernatural, much less hocus pocus and just allow ourselves to be the creators we're meant to be, to not feel that we're somehow puppets on a string of some big deity out there in the sky who, who decides uh, what we do and what we don't do and what happens to us, that we can take back some of that. We take back that ability to be able to influence our lives in some way. I know a lot of skeptics out there would argue and say, well, you know, if, if, you're, if you've got magical powers, why don't you win the lotto? That kind of thing. And you'll get that from people who are skeptical. And it's only because they don't understand how magic works and because like us, they've been programmed to believe that you, may, you wave your magic wand, you say a few words and bang, you win lotto. If that was the truth, the world would be a very different place. We know that magic doesn't work that way, that we have to understand probability. We have to understand magic is an influence. We have to understand our own mindset in regards to the things that we're wanting to bring to us. We have to understand a lot of factors when it comes to magic, that it, it is more normal and mundane than people want to believe it is or think it should be. But if we can bring magic more into our lives and be in more harmony with the, the, our ability to co-create, it will help not just empower us individually, but it just helps empower everybody and encourage us to, to build a much better world. Because when we see that what we're putting out comes back to us, that's re it's reflected back to us, that our perceptions become something that we end up receiving in reality, then it makes, it stops us from being greedy, it stops us from being selfish, it stops us from indulging in all of those uh, negative sides of the shadow. Because we can see that none of these things are necessary. There's no need to be selfish or greedy because the fear of going without just simply isn't there because we know that we can create what we're wanting to create. It's a very idealistic way of thinking and I'm, we're definitely not there yet, but it's something that I hope at some stage in the future we'll be able to achieve. If you are really serious about getting into Wicca and you have an eclectic outlook of Wicca and you're on your own, you don't have any covens or anything around you or about you or, or any that you're particularly interested in joining but you're actually wanting to join a group and learn with other people and take a nice structured approach to learning Wicca, do check out Mystery Witch School 101. Uh, course. It's a 12 month course that is online. You can do it from wherever you are in the world and join a community online where we talk about these subjects uh, twice a month and not just talk about these things, but actually learn how to create our reality, both externally and internally, as well as to connect to nature and the divine energies running through nature. So do check that out if you are ready to do a course and commit to the craft that way. If you liked the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. Blessed be.